Alright, so the next part is we're gonna talk about some of the modeling techniques that you can start to adopt. Alright, so again, we're still on the introduction phase and I'm still showing you the basics of some of the tools that we have over here. Um, before we start off, I uh, probably need to point out this part over here since I'm using Maya 2016. Over here at the top left, you have some of these module tabs over here. So since we're doing modeling over here, so we're going to stick to the modeling tab. If you're using Maya 2015, you probably call Polygon and then there's another one called Surfaces. And from 2016 onwards, they have actually combined this to make it one tab called Modeling. So sometimes if you cannot find some of the tools, it's probably under Polygon and if it's not, it might be under Surfaces. So for example, in Maya 2016, Surfaces is over here. All right, all of the tools for surfaces is right over here. It used to be a separate tab over here, but it's no longer there. All right, so that's something for you to take note. So what I can do now is I'm going to start to create a cube again. All right, and I'm going to introduce you to this new tool over here, which is the multi-cut tool. And I'm going to put this on my shelf. All right, so it's like this scissors knife thing over here. Uh, in 2015, it will look something different, looks like a scissors, um, this one looks like a knife, so uh, it depends on which version you use, So, but it's still the same thing, it's going to give you the same results. So if you select this over here, um, what you can do is you can actually start to draw lines on your faces, okay? So for example, if I want to draw a line diagonally across here, yeah? All I have to do is click on the first part over here and then I click on where I want the line to be and I press enter. Right? And let's say I want to draw another one over here like an X, I can do the same thing and I guess press enter again. So um, maybe I want to create something like a create box that you see in a game environment, maybe some kind of asset or something like that. So perhaps I'll just draw this axis all across the four faces so um, you might want to take your time over here don't rush into it because sometimes you might uh, make mistakes all right so just in case um, let's say you for example don't like this edge over here or you want to delete these two edges over here uh, what you guys tend to do is just to select the edge over here and just press delete like that. Um, don't do that. That's not the correct way because you have hidden vertices. So if I go to vertex over here, you can see that I have this hidden vertex over here which does not have an edge. So if I just undo a couple of times, let's say you want to delete these edges away. What you want to do is actually go to your edit mesh and you see over here there's delete edge vertex or control delete and I'm just going to put this on my shelf as well and you can actually just select the edge and use this instead so you will delete the edge and the vertex alright so as you can see when I go to vertex that small vertex over there is not there because it deleted the edge and the vertex Alright, so that's just in case if you use the multi-cut tool and you want to, you know, delete some of these edges over here, you did a uh, wrong line or something like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to extrude these faces over here, all of these faces over here, right? Again, um, if you want to select multiple faces, you can actually just drag it like that or you can select one face and press and hold shift to add to your selection. Um, so it depends usually you I would recommend you go to a camera angle where you can select most of the faces vertex edge whatever you want um, best so and just left click and drag like that all right so next thing is um, we're gonna extrude this area over here now if I just select all the faces and I go and extrude and after that I try to make it individually so let's say all these triangles I want them to extrude individually it cannot happen because instead you'll give me this kind of result which is not very nice so what I want to do instead is let me just undo first I'll go again to all the faces that I want so it's everything except these two faces over here I'll extrude 
now this time if I scroll down over here on the right side there's this thing called channel box now if you don't see the channel box just press ctrl A you probably see this one um, you can also use it over here from the attribute editor or from the channel box okay so it's if, if you're at the channel box you can go to your keep faces together right now it's on now you just have to delete this away and press 0 that will turn it off alright so let me just turn this back on and if let's say you go to the attribute editor you can click here or just press ctrl A you scroll down a bit you can see this keep faces together is check on you can also check this off alright so we just do this for this extra operation now once we have this thing off we select our cube over here and then we go to the center cube and we just drag it down so as you can see I have some of these nice triangles all around my box over here okay maybe I don't want it to be so big and what I can do is I can press G to repeat the last command and I push them inside right maybe just a little bit like that so when I go back to object mode as you can see I can start to have this nice detailed a box which can be used like a game asset you know probably stack up somewhere um, another thing is that you can start to see um, wireframes so if you were to press this button over here um, if you just don't click it just you know hover over it you can see it's called wireframe on shaded again these icons might look a bit different depending on which Maya version you use especially if you're changing from 2015 to 2016 there's a bit of a change um, but they still do the same thing you click on this you can start to see the lines that you have created for the box alright so these are just some of the modeling techniques for you to take note of while you are modeling um, the character that you are going to do later on alright so I think I've just gone through more or less um, the basics of Maya um, how to move around how to use your extrude tool so we're going to start creating our alien character for games assets next um, so we're gonna move along with that so on to the next video